There's a lot of ways to bring electricity to your items in Rust. One that a lot of players get confused on, however, is the memory cell. This tier 2 item can improve your base's efficiency in many ways. Let's go over the function of this item, as well as an example to give you an idea of its potential. The cell has typical power in, then power out, as well as an inverted power out. These work in tandem with the side ports, set, reset, and toggle. Many of your bases will utilize portions of the switch, although there are many ways to use all three side ports. This item lets you swap direction of power from one path to another in case you have multiple functions in your base. I colored the wires to understand the paths better. By default, the inverted output will be automatically set, as you can see with the cell's lights being green and then red. The left light connected to the inverted output is lit. When you hit the button at the top with the green wire, it will switch the power to the regular output, lighting the bulb. This sets the memory cell. You will notice both lights on the cell are now green as well, signifying the cell is in the set position. If you want to go back to the other light, simply hit the middle button to reset the cell back to its original settings. The last port is for toggle, which, in my opinion, is handy in the event you don't want to hit set, then reset over and over, as it simply swaps the power from inverted out to normal out, back and forth infinitely. This item can be used in a lot of instances, but I set up a simple trap to help understand the concept a little further via example. As you can see, I have the door open to lure a threat inside. But what awaits them is a laser that will trigger the memory cell to swap paths and close the door behind them, while also revealing and powering on a turret behind the opening garage door. This item can be used in a lot of ways, but I hope this simple example gets your mind going on all the possibilities. If you'd like me to share other examples or have questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I hope this helps you better understand the memory cell and can't wait for you to share how you might use this item. If you enjoy the content and want to learn more in the future, consider subscribing because I've got a lot more in store. With that said, I wish you the best on your next Rust adventure. Take it easy until next time. Later.